Thank you for choosing Educate Simplify videos, where we bring you help period, care period, education simplified. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's start with the top six overall best tips. Top tip number one, know where your veins generally are. Try to memorize your vein anatomy. Scroll down to our video description to get the free vein anatomy PDF, courtesy of Educate Simplify. Top tip number two, Use your sense of touch, not eyes. In fact, look away or close your eyes if you don't feel funny in front of your patient while feeling for the vein. I work night shift and I discovered I get more veins with my pen light because I don't use my eyes as much. Top tip number three, do not slap or smack the veins. It will cause bruising in fragile patients and possibly cause vasoconstrictions. Lots of no-no articles in this practice. Top tip number four, feel gently sideways use the side of your fingers flattening as you do gently draining the surrounding tissues good veins should feel bouncy like a cooked spaghetti al dente top tip number five use tight fitting gloves if you have extra small hands ask your manager or your workplace to order you extra small gloves or bring it from amazon you cannot be swimming in your gloves top tip number six Ask your patient if they are hard stick, they already know. So ask them, have people have difficulty sticking your vein and ask them what vein they usually use. But check the vein. If the vein is overly used, you need to find another one. Also, this is where your advocacy comes in. If the patient, if you know your patient is going to be there for long term, your cancer patient, your long term antibiotic patient, they might be a candidate for central line. Now let's talk about plumping the vein plumping those dehydrated or barely visible veins. Top plumping tip number one, get the warm packs out. If you don't have the fancy pop it ones, fill the gloves with semi-hot water because you want it to last but not burn. So don't burn. Tape or co-band that glove onto your site. If you or your patient cannot keep it there for at least one to two minutes, you need it to give it some time. Warm towel also works. The water in the towel can make the skin translucent, making it a little bit more visible. In fact, the wet skin under the glove, if you're using the glove, don't forget to disinfect with alcohol. Alcohol has the same translucent effect, but it dries faster. Top plumping tip number two, make the site dependent, meaning hang the limb or do it for them, especially for the site below the elbow. This works best with a tourniquet. Then give it time for the blood to fill the veins, about one to two minutes. Disclaimer, okay, so you can only leave the tourniquet for one to two minutes before you cut the blood flow. How do you know you cut the blood flow? You need to compare the nail band. So grab one hand, compare it to the other. If it's turning blue, it's time to take the tourniquet off. Top plumping tip number three, turn the wrist while palpating at different position so you can feel at different angles of vein protrusion. Now let's move on to marking and venipuncturing difficult veins. Venipuncturing is our new word. First of all, you can only mark if you can disinfect it. IV is aseptic, a little above clean, a little below sterile. So disinfection is a top priority. Top marking tip number one, use needle claps and then disinfect it. So you mark twice. First, where to hit it and then where to continue with the needle. Top marking tip number two, use an alcohol pad, new and hopefully still moist. Disclaimer, this stings. I have a colleague that would do this and patients complain. So you place it alongside the vein that you decided on and then it will mark where you're gonna go. Top marking tip number three, read the skin. Is there sub-Q fat or not? You will have patients with veins out there ready to grab you while there are patients with a lovely layer of sub-Q adipose tissue. Fancy word for sub-Q fat. By the way, skinniest patient can have this sub-Q fat covering their veins. So it's not an insult, it's just their genetics. But the problem is you need to poke through this layer to get to the damn vein. So angle your needle based on how you read the skin. Are the veins out there to get you? Go in and insert with a lower angle. Are there patients vein you can barely see and opaque? Sharpen up your angle, bevel up, and go deeper until you feel that wonderful, minuscule
which means you're in the vein. Remember, feel, you can't really hear it. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you join us for more videos at Educate Simplify. Thank you so much.